All right, guys, welcome to our holiday edition of our recharge class. I brought the cheer. Z is on the top of my head. To uh, pop on here for a minute or two. As you know, I'm Coach, Coach Clint. Um, it should say it somewhere on the screen. I don't know if it does or not. Um, but you guys know that. You've been here. You know the recharge class. We're going to have some fun today. Body weight stuff, uh, really recovery built today. Uh, nothing too crazy. I did that earlier. If you're looking for crazy, now this is going to be a short week as far as classes goes. We do have some extra metabolic challenge and stuff. Hopefully you guys got the, the list of holiday workouts. I just did one at 12 today. We did the 12 days of Christmas workout. Wow. Wow, let me tell you, that one was fun. Um, but I also am teaching a class Christmas Day. Christmas Day, the 25th at 10.05 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, so if you want to uh, join in that class, it's going to be about 45, 50 minutes of fun on Christmas to burn off some of the calories. Um, you can join me. I would be more than happy to. I can send you the link. So if you're looking for that, uh, just in the chat, let me know, because then I can look up your email and I can send it to you. Or you should have gotten an email for it, um, the holiday schedule. You can pop on there. It's the only class on Christmas. Okay. So you can come join me. Uh, make sure you have some water today just to stay nice and hydrated. And let's get going. The only reason... Send me the invite. All right, I'll do it. You're on. Merry Christmas to you. That's my present to you. Okay, we're gonna have some fun on Christmas. Okay, so I brought the paper today, the wrapping paper. Oh, look at that. It's our fun stuff. So holiday tips. Uh, so think in moderation, but I put a smiley face there. Because, yes, I want you to think in moderation, but then I want you to do what I say in tip number two. Throw guilt out the window. It's not time to be feeling guilty on yourself for having that extra piece of fudge. That's why you're here working out. Okay, so just enjoy yourself. And then the rest is stay connected. So right now, this year, that's a big piece, right? Staying connected with family. So if that's on Zoom calls, whatever, hopefully if you got a chance to travel and stay healthy, you did. Um, if not, connect, call people, okay? This is the time. And then have fun, laugh, and love. That's what Christmas is all about. And then our joke of the day today brought to us by a member. What do snowmen call their kids? Stick around at the end, and if I remember, I'll tell you the answer. And then I drew you a cute little snowman picture today. He's waving. Oh, look at him. And I even put a little holiday tree on there, Christmas tree with some lights. Boom. All right, let's get the show on the road. Okay, so we're going to start, as always, for the wrapping paper. Thanks, babe. Thanks for the wrapping paper. I'm going to keep the hat on as long as I can, too, as long as it doesn't fly off my head. So we're going to start in our glute bridge position, down on the floor. We're going to go glute bridge, single leg hold. So single leg position. Okay, just like so. We're gonna drive up nice and high and then pause at the top. Nice and strong here, keep that glute nice and tight. Stay in that hook position on the other side. Nice and strong. Three, two, one, down, switching legs. Drive back up, hold at the top. This hat actually sings. I turned it on, but because you guys are right here in my ear, it probably blow you out. <laughs> uh, three, two, one. One more on each side. My glutes are already warm. Like I said, I did the workout earlier. Woo. This is going to be a good recovery class for me, hopefully. Down. Good. Last one. Drive up. I just want to thank you guys for being here with me. I know this week is a weird week for some of us, maybe not working, but we're still coming in. We're still getting our little bit of fitness in, feeling good. Oh, let's go bent knee hamstring, right leg, pull in. And look, there's two of me. How cool is that? Kick that leg up. Thanks again to the 
owner of Studio One Dance Academy in Sandpoint, Idaho. My mother-in-law, Lori, thank you. So sweet for letting me come steal the studio for half an hour, two hours today, actually, with the class. Let's get five of these on each side. Gotta give her a shout out. That's her Christmas present. Good, switch sides. It was snowing. For those of you that don't know, I'm up in North Idaho. It was snowing outside. It was beautiful white. Christmas look out there. Now it's raining. So now it's back to working before. And good. Okay, next thing we're going into our dead bug position. Okay, so dead bug position. Lock in, arms up, nice tight core. I'm lifting my shoulders off just a little bit. Opposite arm, opposite leg go out, reach. We're gonna go five on each side. Remember this is still warm up, so we're not trying to kill ourselves. Just getting through some movements, getting that strength, waking everything up. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, time to get going. Beautiful, let's roll on over. Okay, we're going to go into a quad hip flexor stretch, okay? Big chest, step that leg out a little further. Okay, and then I'm gonna tuck my tail, tuck that tail, reach to the front of the room. Relax back, keep that tail tucked, reach to the front. Again, stretching out those hip flexors and quads, just making sure that we're nice and loose, switching sides. You get to see it from a different angle, tuck, big chest, press to the front of the room. Relax back. Good, again. So, as we go through this, and you can answer in the chat too if you have, if you can reach it. If not, you can always shoot me the chat at the end too. But I want you thinking, uh, relax. I want you thinking of your favorite favorite holiday That's why you're here right now. You're working to eat your favorite holiday treat. Mine, the other day, the family wiped those on go. It's at that floor ready and go. Put it all the way up. Go. Go. And up. All right. <clears throat> now, we're going to do all movements on one side. So we're, I'm going to start left leg as my base leg, okay? We're going to stay single leg as much through these uh, one, two, three, four, five work, or five movements as we can, and then we'll switch legs, okay? We're going to try to get through it two times and then finish with some good core presence at the end, okay? I'm probably going to lose my hat at some point. So left leg is my base leg. We're going into that single leg RDL. I'm gonna go thumbs up, big chest, going into that single leg RDL down towards the floor, dropping my chest long through my back leg. Thumbs are still pointing towards my head, so palms down. Good, now I'm gonna reach down to that floor. I'm gonna hand walk out. Still on single leg, hovering that foot. Good, down dog, single leg. Push up. So if you're new here, dive bomber push up is I'm just gonna try to drag my face on the floor and then come into a cobra single leg. Beautiful. All right, drive those hips back up down dog and now i'm going to walk those hands 
back. Drop that back leg down. Come into a lunge position. I'm dropping my knee down to make sure I'm in a good lunge position. Okay. Nice big chest here. Shift my weight to the front knee. Hover up. Good. Still, this leg has majority of the weight on it. Shift even more. Try to get really light on that back leg and press up with a single leg. Okay, now notice that my toe was still barely touching the ground as I started to push into that single leg squat. Okay, that's fine. Even if you have to come out in a lunge, that's great. Okay, whatever it takes. Okay, right leg shifting. Here we go. Arms up. Good. I didn't lose my hat. Here we go, down. Nice and strong here, holding. Find that balance. Remember, if you need to use something to balance, just don't use a dog or a kid. They'll take off on you. Okay, hands down, hand walk out. Single leg, holding that plank for just a second. Good, drive up, down dog, single leg. Dive bomber push up. Here we go, down. Drag on that floor. You're using that glute to keep that leg off too right here. It's hard. Good, drive those hips. Walk those hands back into that lunge position. Now again, I'm coming down, making sure I'm in good position. Good, shifting my weight forward. Hands stay off of my knee, unless I need a little assistance to come up. Hover that knee. Shift even more as I come into that single leg stand. Shake those legs out. Like I said, I did that earlier workout. So my legs are a little tight. That's okay. We're here together, okay? Now I'm going to show it to you from the front a little bit, just, or how about an angle? Left leg, base leg, okay? Arms out. Now, trying to drop, like I have a bar going through my hip, trying to drop my chest, bring my leg up at the same time. Soft bend in that knee. We're back to that front or first side, okay? So left leg. This is probably one of the hardest moves right now for me just because balance hurts. Hands down, hand walk out. Somebody sweated all over this floor earlier too. Good, hips up. Dive bomber, down and up. Hips up, and walk back, drop that knee, and down. Still gonna lose my hat, getting loose though. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come up, hover that knee, okay? I'm gonna come all the way up. Now, before I put my leg back down, I'm gonna to try to do a single leg squat as low as I can. So adding a little extra, okay? So shift my weight, hover that back knee, just like before, shifting my weight forward. So I'm really light on that back foot, coming up. Good, now I'm gonna to turn towards you, okay? Hovering my right foot still, coming down as slowly as I can, single leg squat, as low as I can comfortably, pause, come up. Ah, oh, bonus, nice, okay. Right leg, 
You know the drill, okay? Here we go. Again, that bar's running through your hip, arms out, coming down. I'm breathing harder after doing two workouts today. Recovery is harder when you're tired. Good, hands down, hand walk out. Hips up. <clears throat> Good. Dive bomber. Down. Make sure you keep that leg off just for a little while longer. Good, hips up. Walk those hands back. Now you know the drill this time. Okay. We're gonna go lunge first, and then we're gonna go into that single leg squat. Shift your weight. All right, here I come, hover off. Hold for just a second. Find that balance, shift just a little more. Super light on that back leg. Coming up. Nice and tall. Okay. Hovering that left foot, coming down, nice and easy. Trying to keep my knee over my foot and up. <sighs> and relax. All right, guys, you made it through the flow. <sighs> Bonus round, we're going into our core presence. Okay, so we have three movements. I'm gonna go through them twice. Lots of time. 17 after. Lots of time. Okay, so we're gonna take our time. We have toe touches, we have hip raises, and then we're gonna do our roll ups. Okay, so we're gonna go 10 toe touches, 10 hip raises, five roll ups, and then repeat. Okay, so remember the rule for all of our core stuff is this is as low as my feet get in the toe touches and the hip raises, okay? Don't let those feet come down. And then in our roll-ups, we can extend, take a quick break and then do our roll-ups, okay? Here we go. Toe touches first. Make sure you touch behind your head. Reach for your toes. You do not have to touch your toes. Here we go. One, two, Three, make sure you touch behind your head each time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, hip raises. I put my hands under my butt and then I go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, beautiful, extend. Here we go, roll up time, okay? Dig those heels in, nice tight core. We're gonna roll up together, okay? So on my count, it's gonna be about five seconds on the way up, ready? And up, one, two, three, four, five. If your feet lift off when you do it, try sticking something on them back. Three, two, one, good. Stick your feet under the couch, have somebody sit on them, up. One, two, three, four, five, and back. Three, two, one, good. We got three more. That's not cheating. If you think it's cheating, sticking something on your feet, you're not. Still using your core, up, one, two, three, four, five, and back, three, two, one, good, up, one, two, three, four, five, back, three, two, one, let's go one more, up, one, two, three, four, five, back, 
three, two, and one. Good. Okay. Toe touches again. Last set. Okay. Now, if the hip raises bothered you last time, come into that dead bug position. Go knees to chest, knees to chest, toes to floor. Okay. I'll let you touch your toes if your back was hurting with the hip raises. Okay. That's fine. Okay. It's still working that same area of our gut. Okay. Or do the hip raises just like you did. Okay. Legs up. Here we go. And touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hip raises. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, my core hurts. Oh, good job, guys. Okay, here we go. Last set of roll-ups, no pausing this time, okay? We're gonna go up five seconds. Just come back nice and easy on your own count, not on my count, and then back up. Okay, here we go. Up, one, two, three, four, five, and back. Just nice and easy, just don't fall down. Good, up, one, two, three, four, five. Good, back, it's my gift to you. Good, up, one, two, three, four, five, and back. Two more, up, one, Two, three, four, five. Good, and back. Last one, here we go. Up, one, two, three, four, five, and back. Nice and easy. Oh. All right, guys. Now, you guys know what we like to do here in our recharge class. We like to end with a coach's challenge, okay? Coach's challenge today. Whew. What do we want to do? I think our coach's challenge today is going to be, dun, 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 a wall sit, okay? So if you don't have a wall, you can post up on. And if you don't know what a wall sit is, you act like the wall is a chair. You put your back against it and you come down to where your legs are flat, like a table. Tabletop, excuse me, too much water, okay? And you're gonna hold there while we go through our quote and all that good stuff, okay? If you don't have a wall, I just want you going into a squat about that same level, okay? About uh, parallel with your thighs to the floor, okay? And we're gonna hold there until I finish, okay? I like to get long-winded, Christmas season. <laughs> You're back. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna use my laptop because I have everything written on it. Plus then I can see myself even better. Okay, I'm going into the wall. So here we go, coming down into a wall sit. I got my laptop on my lap. Whew, here we go, okay? I'm not using my laptop to use my arms on my legs. I'll hover, how's that? Okay, here we go. Quote, what is Christmas? It is tenderness for the past, courage for the present, and hope for the future. And I'm going to butcher this person's name, but I think it's Angus Farrow, okay? Uh, amazing quote for the Christmas season. It's not about presents. It's about family. It's about looking at the tenderness for the past, the courage for the present, and hope for our future. Guys, thank you for being here. Oh, and come up. Oh, nice work on that. Oh, those quads hurt. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you taking the time, especially right now in the holiday season, to spend a few minutes with me. I'm gonna get you out of here five minutes early-ish. <sighs> Thank you again. I appreciate you every day that you show up. Thank you for putting in the work. We're getting better every day together. And that's a huge part to you, getting me to come teach classes. 
Again, uh, for those of you that sent me in the chat, uh, I will shoot you the link for that video on uh, the 25th on Christmas day. If anybody else would like, let me know in this chat before we end and I'll make sure to send that to you also. It is on the holiday schedule. Again, it's the only one. Again, we'll spend a few moments together working out, burning some calories. So like I said, now's a good time because we're at the end of our class. What is your favorite, favorite holiday snack that you are looking forward to uh, throwing caution out the window and enjoying with your family or even yourself this holiday season? Think about it. You can chat it to me if you would like. If not, if you want to keep it secret, uh, that's fine. But that's why we put this work in is so that we can enjoy ourselves and not feel guilty. Okay, so just relax. Enjoy yourself. It's the holiday season. Spend some time with family. If that's either connecting remotely or in person, enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Stay happy. Enjoy yourself. Eat some good food for me. Have some cocoa. Okay. Thank you guys. And I will send you, Patricia, I'll get you that to you. Uh, make sure that you get that link. Um, thank you guys. And on that note, Patricia, you reminded me. What do snowmen call their kids? Well, they call them children, especially up here in the north. It's cold. All right, guys. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing those of you that are coming uh, on Christmas Day. We're going to have some fun. It's going to be very fun. Good fitness, but really fun. I'm focusing more on having a good laugh, getting a good workout in. So I look forward to seeing you then. Uh, until then, be good. Have fun. I'll talk to you soon. Again, guys, thanks for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.